So welcome back. And this time I'm going to do an upgrade inside my car interior, these knee pads. Now this is a job that you can save a lot of money because getting aftermarket or even going to the dealership, these are expensive. These can get, cost up to 300 bucks just to get these recovered. And you can do this project in about an hour or so. I already did the other side, so I'm just going to show you this side on the driver's side. What you want to do is get a, something plastic, get in here, and then work it. And it sounds like it's going to break and everything else, but it's not. Don't be intimidated by this. You can just pull these out, which, you know, it's hard to do with one hand, but I'm working on it. And they just kind of pull out in the back with these tabs. So you want to get these off first. I'm going to probably have to put the phone down because this is kind of tough. You, you feel like you're going to break it, but you're really not. There's nothing to, to break. See, they're going to just pry off really hard like that. They will come off. I'm going to do this one. And we're going to do it right here, along here. And I'm going to recover this in some black suede. And I'll show you with the pictures of what I used. I went to Walmart. I got a yard, but I'm not sure if I'm going to need a whole yard. I'll tell you after... I'm done because I've never done this project. All right, next I'll be moving on to the next stage after you take this off. Oh, and I would mark them, the driver's side panel, just with a Sharpie, mark it in here so you won't get confused of what you're doing while you're in the house or wherever you're gonna be doing this project. It's better just to mark it. Okay, thank you. All right, I suppose I should show, show you the inside too. This one is on the same way with the pins and did it a little bit. And then you take your tool and push it along here and then pull. That just comes right off. That was a lot easier than the door was, but that's it. Now we'll go ahead and measure this all out and cut the panels that we want. And I'll move on to the next stage. I laid out my fabric. I got way too much. One yard is way too much for this project. So you can just get a half a yard. That would totally do it. But I'm glad I did because there's a lot of imperfections on this piece. I didn't see in the store when she was cutting it. I have no idea what this is. It's like almost like a glue. So it's up to you. I mean, this is, wasn't too expensive. So if you want to get a yard, get a yard. If you don't want to, just get a half a yard and hopefully you don't get imperfections. Well, well, I guess while you're there, you can make sure that there's no imperfections. So what you do is you take this and you want to cut this out a rough estimate because you have to have some overlap here to wrap it underneath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of cut it, follow the same angles, but exaggerate how much I need because it's always better to have too much than not enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out right now. And I'm sure you can just, everyone knows how to cut. So I'm not gonna show that part. Okay. So I cut, cut it out, gave myself some extra room. What I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna put it on the, they call this stuff flex foam. Give you some, cushioning. I don't have to leave as much as I did over here because this is not going to be tucked down as much. So yeah, I'm, just, I'm going to go ahead and cut this a little bit closer. But again, if you're not comfortable with doing it that close or cutting so close, just go ahead and cut over. And like I said, you can always cut down what you don't need. All right, moving on to the next step. Okay, once you got it all cut out, what you want to do is time to put the spray adhesive on it, kind of center it a little bit lower on the bottom so you have more up on top to work with because this part has to be completely covered here too because you will see that. So you want it more adjusted on the bottom. Okay, careful. I would wear gloves. I don't have any right now, but stuff gets on your hand. It doesn't not come off too good. So just spray it, give it a generous amount. Get it all on there. Get some on there. Go ahead and put it down flat. Remember, a little bit closer to the bottom than the top. Press down. Get a little bit more spray on the top.
takes a second for it to bond. Don't be discouraged if it pops back up like this. Just gotta keep going back and forth. There you go, it's already bonding. It's kind of working around. Get a little bit more spray if you need it. You can never use too much spray, in my opinion. Kind of lift up, pull and lift. This is important, you don't want any kind of creases in the top part. Because if you get creases on that, no matter what you do, you will always get creases in your project. You can't cover up a crease with fabric. So just make sure you don't have any creases. So far that's looking pretty good. Just kind of work it. Work it down here. You want to work it, but you don't want to work it. I know, I do have a dry sense of humor. Okay, well. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. It's on there. Okay, then the next step. If you want to let this dry a little bit longer, it recommends, let's see. 10 minutes, but I think we can go move on from here. Well, this is a lot of extra here, so I'm going to cut this. It's always best, like I was saying, always best to have a little extra. Because if you don't need it, you can just cut it down. No big deal. And actually that's still too much, so I'm gonna keep cutting. Okay. Looks good to me. Good enough, you won't see this part anyways because it's going to be covered up with your fabric or leather or whatever you want to use. Okay. Let's see here. So I want to put this, get a good idea what it's going to, how I want it positioned. This has to be a lot lower on the bottom. You want a lot more up on top. Position this where you need it. Go ahead and spray this. Position this lower, like I said. Press it down. Kind of help it up a little bit because this takes a second to dry. Flip it over. This part I do recommend waiting the 10 minutes. To get this, you want a nice bond here because you're going to be manipulating this with these curves kind of hard, kind of pull and stretch it. So, if you want to use a hair dryer, I would recommend hair dryer, just go over it.
All right, now that dried out pretty good. It's been about 10 minutes or so. Now the hard part. You wanna get it nice and good around here. Turn it over and see what you're doing. And take this whole thing and just kind of press this down. Now this one's going on the door. Driver door. If you're doing the middle, you can put your creases on the very end because you can't see them. If you have creases, that is. So you kind of pull, hold, keep pulling and holding. It starts to start forming. get to the corners you don't really want to see those creases so this is the hardest part is corners so I like to just kind of pull from all the sides pull in and tuck in see how that came out I hope you can see that just hold that for a couple seconds there the corners are definitely going to be the hardest you just want to pull and tuck. Pulling. Pull and back. Pull and back. Turn it around this other side. What's good about this stuff, as you're working with it, you can, it's getting tighter, the glue and drying, but you can still actually make it work and get stronger and stronger as you're working with it. Especially with these corners, you need a lot of bonding. It's forgiving. No matter what kind of material you're working with, leather or suede or Whatever you want to use, it's pretty much all the same process as what I'm doing. Just pulling and tucking back inside. Okay, when it comes to these little creases here, you can actually just press on them down and they'll come out like that. So just keep going around. And the excess, like this, just cut it with your scissors. Make sure you're not having these tabs covered up. Cut those out too. I don't really want this video to be very long, but you get the idea. You just keep pulling and tucking, pulling and tucking. Just keep going over it and over it until you're satisfied. And then go check it. Go put it back in the car and make sure you're not seeing any creases. Keep checking. Go back and forth if need be, or if you get it perfect the first time, go from there. Okay. It's kind of forming up. Kind of see it taking its shape. But I'm gonna end the video part right here, just because I don't want it to go, get too long. But you get the idea, just pull, tuck, pull, tuck. When it comes to the edges, take both sides, Pull from both sides and tuck and then press with your finger. All right, well, I got it all on. The back side really doesn't matter what it looks like. It just matters if it's tight and everything. So let's go ahead and put it back on here. By putting it back on, all you do is line it up and you just give it a whack with your hand. Just pop it in like this. I'm not going to do it because I only have one hand and I don't really want to mess it up. But I'll try to get better pictures of it at the end of the video.
and then the inside I did. Pick what other co any color you want to do though. I mean, this is dark because I like black. I like black and grays. I think if I had to do it over again, I probably would have used a gray um, suede. Might have just give it some extra pop, I guess. But it's up to you. Do what you like. You can either do leather, suede, fabrics, anything. It's all up to you. Be sure to check out my other videos. I just got done with the dress up in my car engine compartment. I'm all done with that, so I'm moving on into my interior. So, yeah, go ahead. It's a fun project. On a scale of one to 10, I'd say it's about a four because of hardness. 10 being the hardest, of course, because getting these to come around is probably the hardest part of the whole project. But it's not too bad. It takes about an hour, this whole project. Okay, I hope you like it, and check out my other videos, and leave a comment if you want. Thanks. Bye.